Turning to slide four, let's get into this transformative acquisition we announced this morning. Bayer is acquiring Trina's five gigawatt U.S. solar module manufacturing facility in Wilmer, Texas, which has commenced production on November 1st and has firm offtake commitments of 1.5 gigawatts already signed. The acquisition of this asset truly transforms Bayer's strategic, commercial, and financial positions. In Trina Solar, we are partnering with a top three global solar manufacturer with competitive advantages tied to technology, supply chain development, operations, and a track record of delivering for some of the largest customers in the U.S. Upon closing, Freya will become a top three U.S. solar module producer, and accordingly, we now expect to generate revenues and positive EBITDA in 2025. The acquisition of the Wilmer plant will be the foundation of our multi-phase strategic plan to establish Freya as a vertically integrated producer of solar technology with site selection already underway for a U.S. solar cell manufacturing plant on which we are targeting the start of production in 2025. This transaction is the start of a collaboration with a true global solar technology and manufacturing leader. Trina is one of the most respected brand names as a top three global solar producer, and they are well known in the market for quality, execution, leading technology, and reliability. We look forward to working with our colleagues at Trina Solar and to building a competitively differentiated U.S. solar plus storage leader long-term. As Daniel mentioned, we'll be acquiring Trina's U.S. solar module facility in Wilmer, Texas, and here we provide more detail on the terms, and there are really three key points I want to highlight. Number one, the consideration to be paid is an attractive price. Total consideration of $621 million is comprised of $100 million of cash to Trina, $150 million note to Trina, it's at a 1% rate, $235 million of assumed project finance debt, that's a SOFA plus two and a half, uh, $43 million portion of, of a note repayment offset by inventories, and, and lastly, a $43 million uh, equity consideration, assuming full conversion. Our $621 million price is 3.1 times our estimated full run rate of EBITDA uh, for an operating facility uh, that we expect to be fully ramped up in 4Q25. That's an attractive price. Uh, more impressive, I think, given uh, the higher margin, higher contracted volume potential of our planned solar uh, cell development, 5 gigawatts as well, and, and, and as well that uh, this is a platform acquisition uh, for other U.S. growth opportunities with our partner and shareholder, Trina Solar. That's number one. Number two, the second point is on the structure. Now, this structure is designed, the structure of our transaction is designed to provide both certainty of closing and speed to closing, okay? In step one, we acquire the asset and Trina gets consideration and 9.9% of Frayer on a fully diluted basis, and a note that converts is convertible into the balance. This is faster and provides more certainty to closing. The need for speed or timing matters here because we are working on developing solar cell where every six-month slippage is $100 million of lost tax credits that we'd expect to retain. So IRA sunset provision is well in mind. In the second step of the transaction, Trina Note converts into ultimately 21 spot 4% total ownership of Frere, and that's after CFIUS and shareholder approval of stock issuance. For the second stage of this transaction, we, Frere, and Trina Solar will be making voluntary filing with the Committee on Foreign Investment in the United States, CFIUS, for approval. So the third point here is we're raising capital in connection with this transaction. We have a $100 million commitment from our top shareholder in Compass Capital. This will be a, a two-tranche financing with $50 million at closing and a second $50 million at our option at solar cell financing. Both tranches are convertible preferred with conversion at 250 a share and a 6% rate. Additionally, we're selling another 7% of Frere common stock, 7% on a diluted basis, raising $14 million uh, investment, which is a modest premium to recent trading, and that will close in stage two. Uh, guidance we're showing here is three different levels. Number one, in, in, the, in our ramp up year in 2025, uh, where we expect EBITDA of between 75 and 125 million. That's inclusive of any PTC benefit. Uh, that is driven by uh, merchant module pricing uh, and ramp up pace uh, that Dave will discuss a little bit later and a, a 29 cent uh, assumed uh, module market price on the non-contracted volumes. The second middle stanza here we're showing is the full year earnings capacity of the asset. Again, a rate that we expect to reach uh, exiting 2025 full on a full run rate basis. Uh, on the same commodity price assumption, we're seeing 175 to $225 million at 5 gigawatts. The third column illustrates our plan, adding domestic solar cell capacity. We expect integrated domestic cell and module could generate 
650 to $700 million of EBITDA, including solar cell PTC. This is the real driver for both sides to do this transaction. Our domestic content with cell unlocks significant pricing upside that we believe we can access through long-term off-day contracts.